Daily Bread is a Bible study offered by Father Jaw Bread and JawBread.com. Your comments and questions bring life to our study. Join us as we journey to the promised land. And now, here's Father Jaw Bread. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Good morning. Today's reading is from 1 John chapter 2, verses 7 through 17. And our meditation this morning, who do you love? I will ask you questions about the products, okay. the people, and you tell me who you like and why. I don't know. They're both incredible. I mean, what a struggle, okay? I have to go home and clean tartar sauce out of Bob's beard. And you're going to sit here and talk to me about how amazing these two guys are? Is there anything bad about them? You know, that's a corny movie. It's got some good points. Um, nevertheless, it highlights the lesson for today. Who do you love? And you see in the movie, the woman has this issue deciding who does she love. Does she love this guy or does she love that guy? And she tries to flirt with both and she tries to entertain both. And it just brings about disaster that could have been avoided if she could just decide who does she love. And that is the lesson for today. And you know, it's like John has to reiterate Jesus' message because Jesus first said that we cannot serve two masters for we would love the one and hate the other or we would hate the one and love the other. Yet, we still try to have it our way. Our society compels us to pursue the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. We lust after what we see and being able to experience what we see and our egos encourage us that what we see and what we experience and what we want to experience and want to see is right and good for us and that we are entitled to these things. So the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life compels us to love the world. And all of this pulls us away from God, making us lukewarm at best towards the gospel, making us such that we can sit in church on Sundays and we can talk about how much we love Jesus, but are never really moved to embody the gospel because it would take us away from those accoutrements, those preferences and those special things of life that we have come to enjoy. So John confronts us with this dichotomy again in verses 15 through 17. He says, do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. So Jesus first gives us a choice. But seeing how we respond to the choice, John reiterates that choice by making a sound claim. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Do not be fooled. That's what he's saying. You cannot love both. So who do you love? More than just telling us to choose, he tells us we cannot love God and flirt with the world. We cannot try them both out and, you know, make them see which one is going to win us over. Because if anyone would love the world, the love for the Father is not in them. Who do you love? Are you for sure? Beloved, may the love of God convict you, compel you to not love the world. May you be sure of who you love, that you may live and die for who you love, to the honor and glory of his name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Have a blessed day. Jobbread.com is home to the online ministry of Father Jobbread. 
Journey with us through the wilderness to God's promised land. Subscribe now to JobRed TV and receive all of his videos.